on behalf of the Sugar Bowl Committee, we're proud to recognize the University of Michigan Wolverines and Big Ten Coach of the Year, Brady Hope, as the 2012 Bowl State Sugar Bowl champions. Congratulations to your fans, university, faculty. Congratulations, Coach. You made us proud. Judge, thank you very much. And now to present the trophy to Coach Hope, Tom Wilson, the president and the chairman of our title sponsor, Allstate. Coach Hope, congratulations on a great game on behalf of Allstate. And as a Michigan alumnus, I couldn't be happier to be here. You know, your team showed hard work, passion, and they believed in themselves. So when you lift this trophy tonight, know we believe in you. You created great memories for America tonight. Congratulations and go blue! Thank you. Coach, this is very heavy, but you can take the, uh, the cup off the top if you'd like. As this, as this maize-colored confetti falls around you, Brady, this is Michigan Team 132. What does it mean to get back to the BCS and win the All-State Sugar Bowl? Well, I can tell you our four seniors and how hard they've worked for us all year and their uh, leadership that they've showed all year. It's a lot of fun and they're great kids. Drama right down to the final couple of plays. What was your reaction when they initially ruled that a Virginia Tech touchdown in overtime? Well, you know, I thought it was good. So when they said it was, I was a happy man. Coach, congratulations. What a way to cap off your first season in Michigan. This is the third coach to win a UCF Bowl in year one. Thank you very much. And now to present the trophy to the most outstanding player, the chairman of the all State Trick Bowl Executive Committee, Richard Smith. Richard. The All-State Sugar Bowl is excited to award its most outstanding player to Junior Hemingway of Michigan. Junior, congratulations. At times, it was a frustrating night for the Michigan offense, but you made two circus sketches. Take us through those. <laughs> oh, man, the play was called. The play was called, and, you know, the norm put the ball in the air. The put the ball in the air. You know, all the receivers we work on all the time. We just go up and get the ball, make plays, and plays need to be made. What does it say about the, the veterans on this team who have been through so much, three different coaching regimes, a lot of dark times, missing out on bowl games to finish this season this way? You know, it shows, it shows our fight. It shows our determination. It shows everything we've been through because we've been through a lot. We've been through a lot. We've been through so much. Nobody, nobody understands that. But to come out here and win this bowl game today, with these people I work hard with from day one, feels so good. And I like it. There's tears rolling down your cheeks, and I can hear the emotion in, in your voice. It's hard to put into words, isn't it? Man, it's too hard, man. It just shows, it shows our hard work. It shows everything we put in from day one, all the long days, long nights, man. I'm telling you, it just it feels too good, man. Too good. I'll tell you what, it's a collective effort, a collective celebration. And for Mr. Hemingway, before the sun rises here in New Orleans, it'll be a big maze and blue party. Congratulations to all the Michigan Wolverines champions of the All-State Sugar Bowl. Chris, fitting that someone named Hemingway could write a chapter this good for the Wolverines, huh? A kicker named Gibbons, who hit one field goal all of last year, picked the perfect time to hit two big ones tonight in New Orleans, including the 37-yarder that gave his coach the victory, the bat, the happiness, and unfortunately for the Hokies, the sadness on the other sideline. Michigan, 23-20. Winners in overtime. And the maize and blue celebrating in the Crescent City. This new AT&T 4G LTE.